Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy IX. Uh, here we are, outside of the mountain path to Kondapete, on our way to Iko's home. Which is this little, well you can't really see it because the uh, tag is in the way, but that little cluster of rocks on the ocean, that's where Iko lives. Now, uh, like I said, I'll be looking ahead between episodes and trying to figure out the path and things like that. That way we don't have these long, drawn-out episodes or multiple episodes in a single location because getting lost sucks. And it's just so much easier when I can look ahead. Now, with that being said, uh, it also gives me a good chance to be like, okay, I need to start working on some of these new characters, like Eco. So I did a little bit of grinding. It wasn't a whole lot. It was like only three or four battles just to finish off some of her abilities from the uh, last episode. So she's still not completely up to par with everybody else. But I got her with the bandana, a mithril armlet that's like the strongest bracer I have, uh, a bronze vest so now she's learning jelly. But she still has her sapphire and her golem's fr flute. Uh, also, I've, I also remember that not only does Eco use flutes, but she can also use uh, the rackets. I'm not sure about the staves and ro wa uh, rods that uh, Garnet can use, but I do know she can use rackets. I mean, aside from them being here in the menu, uh, I just do remember that. So there are a few things that she can get. Uh, that also Garnet can get as well, or Dagger. But, uh, yeah, so she's she's coming along pretty good, slowly but surely. Uh, we are getting there. I mean, she's still a level behind. Well, Dagger's a level behind in a way, but... Anyways, let's go ahead and make our way here. Uh, and if you're lost, because I know I, I left uh, off next to the Moogles and uh, Stiltskin... Just follow the path back to where that uh, boss monster was, and then just take the low path uh, and follow the roots out, and it'll lead you over here. Anyways, let's go ahead and head on to Ika's home after a battle! Arrgh! I knew that was going to happen. I thought about starting, like, over there, but yeah, I just was like, hey, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and start outside, that way we get this, but yeah... Battles are a thing that's gonna happen. Blazer Beetle. Ah, BB's hurting all of a sudden. Try to finish this battle off quickly. Why? Why did I do that? <laughs> it's what I get for not paying attention. Just, just kill the troll. Did it again. <laughs> I was going to uh, to just be like spend some time like catching her up in gear, but that would have taken a while, and I kind of want to keep things moving. I don't have all the time in the world to record today for some weird reason, but uh, yeah. 
Okay, he goes home. Is it on? This is my home. Bedancery. I guess that's how it's going to be said today. So, and I'm going to try to get back onto her voice. I listened to the previous recording, trying to get it, but yeah, anyways. <laughs> you live here? It's just a pile of rubble. Dagger? What happened here? Madan Suri, village of the lost summoners. Gupo? Mocha! Moko! Chimomo! All the Moogles! <laughs> All the Moogles! Can't handle it. Gupo? Gupo! Momotos! Morrison! Where's Mog? No! Mog got eaten! Mog! Koopo! Koopo! Koopo? No, I'm not mad. But don't ever leave me behind again, okay? Sit on. Follow me. I'm totally, like, losing her voice. <laughs> it's... I don't know, guys. I have such a hard time keeping people's voices the way they're supposed to be. Mog, you stay here with me. Koopo. Okay, come on. Koopo. Whoa. Pocket bog. Did that Moogle go inside your dress? Yep, Mog always stays with me. Koopo! Sit on. Come, sit over here. Hey! Tell me more about yourself. Tell me! Sure. I want to know more about you too, Eco. Really? For instance, the Eidolon. Where are you from? How old are you? <laughs> or, this is Eco. <laughs> Where are you from? How old are you? What do you do? Where are you going? No. What I want to know is... What kind of foods do you like? What kind of idolins do you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've never met anyone like you before. Dagger? What's wrong? You look dazed. Oh, it's nothing. Do you have a fever? Ah! You're fine. Hey, are you jealous? Why would I be jealous? Are you and Dagger really just friends? Seems like you guys are something more. Well... Yeah, we're more than just friends. So, what are you guys? We're a team. A team? Yeah. Vivi's also part of that team. Hey, where did he go? Is it sort of like me and the Moogles? Something like that. 
All clean, Koopo. Yes, Moogles can speak. Well, other, I mean, we know that Moogles can speak, but just a lot of the time, a lot of what you just hear is Koopo. Thanks, Mocha. I'll be right there. I don't know why I forgot that they could speak. It was really weird. Should have known something like that. <laughs> We've been listening to him talk all the time. I'm gonna start cooking. You have to come eat at my place later, okay? There's still stuff I want to ask her. Let's accept her invitation. Okay. I'll call you when the food's ready. Don't go too far. Alright, our first ATE. Vivi's feelings. Mr. 288 told me that I understand what it means to live and to die. But it's only because I thought stopping was different from dying. I don't think I really understand what it means to live and to die. Where do we come from? How do we go back? there when we die? Or do we go back there when we die? If that's what it means to live, I wonder where I came from. Where will I end up when I die? Why am I shaking? What is it that I'm feeling? Okay, now that we're back in control of everybody... I'm a little tired. Alright, uh, I did read it here... There, there it is. Right there, Libra. Alright. There are a few things... Uh, in this game that I have yet to really discuss and we've passed probably a few of them one or two maybe three I don't remember how many I think there's 12 because they're all signs of the zodiac but it's the Stelazio coins or something to that effect um, there's a woman in uh, Trino that uh, collects these so by turn she wants you to go out into the world and find them I don't quite remember what it is, but that is uh, pretty much the, the gist of it. There are... those things do exist, so... Okay. Let's go this direction, shall we? I'm gonna talk to the Moogle. This area is restricted. Restricted? What's that then? Koopo. Zidon, this place only rocks and sand. I eat star sand once, but sand here not food. Water look clean. Square! Hey, don't take it so hard. It's a special case. Alright, Dagger's feelings. I think this is going to be like a story episode. We're going to get a lot of like background and stuff on a lot of characters. A village of summoners. I read about them in a book once. A tribe that possesses the power to call forth idolans. Idolans. Knowing that I had Idolans inside me didn't bring me any joy. Mother imprisoned me and used the Idolans she stole from me as tools of war. 
and I thought I would kill my Adolans if Kuja was going to use them for war. But now that they're gone, I feel like I've lost a piece of myself. Why am I thinking all this now? It must be the location. This place feels so familiar to me, somehow. Alright, and the Moogle's not gonna let us by, so we're gonna go ahead and head back. Jeez, what a dump. It must have been like this for the last ten years. For at least ten years. What can Eco possibly feed us? Oh. Eco's fillings. Thanks for cleaning. You guys did a great job. A clean house worthy of hosting my heroes at on. But here's where the real challenge begins. I don't think Zidane and Dagger are dating yet. Dagger has been slow to catch on to Zidane's moves. That means there's plenty of time for me to get between them. I'm gonna cook lots of yummy food and show Zidane what a good homemaker I am. Kupo! It might work, if you cook good food. But Eco screws up a lot when she cooks. We don't have much food in stock right now. I know. That's why I'm... I can't screw up. You're all gonna help me. No! Koopopo! Koopo, I'm sleepy. And that is why your name is Momotos. You're all gonna help! I'm gonna cook my specialty. Rock-fisted potato stew. Kupo. Yeah, that's delicious. But the last one you made tasted so bad, I thought my pom-pom would fall off. Just do? Yeah. I think I need another dish. What do you guys think? Kupo. How about some fish? Fresh fish tastes great barbecued. That sounds good. Okay, our menu is rock-fisted potato stew and barbecued fish. Let's see. Who should go fishing? Let's send G Momo. Okay, this really doesn't matter. Um, who goes and does what? It's just does like whatever you decide chooses. We'll go do it. Like, it's not gonna make the food any better or worse. So, let's send G Momo. To go catch fish because he's tiny and it's um, awesome. Go, Chimomo! Kupo! Who should dig up potatoes? Uh, let's, yeah, let's just go ahead and go down the list. Go, Mocha! Kupo! Momotos, you help me in the kitchen. Goopow. Did I make the right decisions? Start cooking. Let's start. Ah, uh, Grandpa. I don't want to be alone anymore. Help me do this right. Okay, now we're back in control of Zidane. Let's head this direction. J 
just because I feel like it. <laughs> I feel so anxious. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> I guess we're gonna head the other direction. Ah, Vivi. What's up? Is something wrong? Oh, it's nothing. I was just thinking. Well, try not to think too much. Get some rest. Okay, thanks, Adon. And... Gupo, please wait. Thank you for waiting. Lady Iko, Lady Iko says the food will be ready soon. I'll take you to the Eidolon Wall in the meantime. Please follow me. Okay. Vivi, you wanna come? I guess not. I'm gonna stay here and think about it some more. Okay. <laughs> And another AT Eco's Kitchen! Yeah, this seems like it's gonna be a lot of story time for this episode. How many people do I need to cook for? And there's me and Zidane. That quiet boy, Vivi. I guess I should cook for Dagger, too. All of you guys, Mob, Moko, Mocha, Gmomo, Momotos, and Morrison. Will you put water on for all the people I listed? I'll get the ingredients. Gupo. That Moogle's like about as big as she is. How many people do I need to account for? Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's let's see if I can remember this. Z Zidane, Eco, Vivi, Dagger, uh, Mog, Moko, Chimomo, Momotos, Morrison. I think that's all of them. Holy crap, guys! Did I really just forget all of those people? Oh no! Oh no! Um, yeah, let's go with nine. Let's think again? Let's ask again. Okay, Zidane, Eco, VV, Dagger. There's four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, it was nine. Okay, I was right. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. That's awful. Okay, pour water. Maybe I should have actually cooked for ten, just in case. Potato, potato, pumpkin bomb. Lots and lots of nuts. I guess that was sung? That's not gonna happen, guys. I am not singing squat because I don't want you guys to have a heart attack or something. Should I put in that aglop I found on the Condapete mountain path? Ooh, I, this I don't remember at all. Um. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I already messed up the, the food because of Kuna. Um, yeah, we're not going to include that Oglop. Thanks. Let's start. Get the water going. Good shake. Go salt. Potato, potato, pumpkin ball, bomb, another shake of salt. Lots and lots of nuts. I caught one, Koopo! It's heavy, Koopo! Uh... Let Momotos cook. Lend a hand. Keep stirring, Momotos. Don't let it burn. This is big. We'll pull it together on three, okay? One, two, three. 
Ah! Yeah, see, I should have... I should have cooked for, like, at least ten or so. Morrison went up this direction. Moko was very proud of his role as the Eidolon Wall Guard. Yuko's decision to show the Eidolon Wall to outsiders upset him. But we Moogles love Iko. She'll understand in time. Why does the wall need protection? The Eidolon Wall has been protected by Iko's Summoner Tribe for generations. Summoner Tribe? I'm gonna get Dagger. She can use summon magic. Is that true? Be right back. <laughs> Off we go to find Dagger. <clears throat> Dagger! Idolin Wall. Hey, Dagger. Come with me. I'll show you something big. Summon magic stuff. Summon magic? Yeah, it's called the Eidolon Wall. Alright, back to the wall, because Dagger just vanished into our pocket, I guess. <laughs> and here we are! Please, come in. The Eidolon Wall is this way. Get to see some of the Eidolons that we haven't seen yet. But if you've played a Final Fantasy game, you should know what most of the Eidolons, or Summons, or GFs, or whatever they call in their respective game. Espers, and a couple of them. But, <clears throat> they get carried over from game to game. The Eidolon Wall is a collection of paintings. The Summoner Tribe painted all the Eidolons they had found during their research. These Eidolons all exist... Kupo. This is a holy place for the Summoner Tribe. Lady Yiko comes here every day to pray and burn incense for her ancestors. What's this one? There's Atmos. That's Bahamut. What's wrong, Dagger? I... You'll get it back. I want to look at the mural some more. Okay. Thought we could get, like, a better look at him, because... I can't really tell what's going on. The Summoner Tribe honors nature. They named this world Gaia. They considered the Eidolons guardians of this planet. They attempted to become one with nature through their summon magic research. The tribe migrated to this location 500 years ago, but now... But now... Oh, same, same dialogue. And... Uh, talk to Dagger? I don't know most of these Eidolons. Nothing? Nothing else? I guess so. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright guys, well, with that, I think that's gonna go ahead and end this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you know all the, the stuff to do, you know, like it if you've enjoyed this video, leave a comment if you have any questions or concerns, or to let me know something that I missed, uh, and if you're new to the channel, just, just happen to run across this particular video, uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button, let you know when all my next videos are coming up, or when they go live, um, also, there's a whole list of these Final Fantasy videos starting from the very beginning, so enjoy yourself. Watch them. 
Um, but I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys.